statement of what you believe in, you keep saying uh, that he, God's a he. Yeah. Uh, and so where do, you, where do you get that from? Yep. Um, well, uh, throughout both the Hebrew Old Testament and the Greek New Testament, you have the um, masculine singular masculine singular pronoun used for God. And why does why is God a man? Where's the evidence of this? Well, well, God isn't a man. See, within historical Christianity, we don't believe that God has a gender. However, the way that he has decided to reveal himself is through the masculine plural and then ultimately by becoming a human in the person of Jesus Christ. So we don't believe that God has a gender. In fact, the fact that God creates humanity in his image and he creates them male and female, those are two aspects of the image of God. And so that's the completeness. So historical Christianity has never argued that God is gendered. Jesus is gendered in the sense that during the incarnation, he becomes a human man, but he's still fully man and fully God. But God is spirit. And right as the scripture says we worship him in spirit and in truth and is, but nobody's arguing that what's that sorry god that is, always blows my mind god, god is the same all the time right he's always he's always good it's always god is all the same all the time right that, yeah but we do see that though in in scripture god has revealed himself through uh, hey what's up guys it's me the spiritual philanthropist the reason i'm showing this is because i didn't want to get touch this debate but i'm going to because I like Billy Carson and some of the things he talks about. And I see that they're actually doing this. This was a really diabolical, underhanded, sinister thing that these guys did. So here he's talking about the uh, the pronoun that God uses in the male form. I'm about to show you that this guy's full of caca. How do I know that? Because if you go back to the ancient Hebrew, right, and you look at the ancient Hebrew here, listen to this, okay? In Genesis 1, verse 26, it says, Vayomer Elohim, and God said, Naaseh, let us make Adam, let us make man, but salmenu kidmutenu, in our image, as or after our. So the reason I put that is to prove this guy Wes wrong. What Wes is doing, you can tell Wes was unsure himself. You could look at his face and see it. Um, this direct attack that they took to him, they, this is why I really wish that Billy Carson himself would include me in some of these things. I do have a, a, a background in what I do. What I do is I'm able to solve problems, you know, and it doesn't matter what the problem is. If I do enough research, I can I can pretty much solve it. I have a history of doing it. Um, if you don't know who I am. I'm the person that wrote the first uh, article on Facebook about the dopamine button and and how it affects people's brains. And it's like I compared it to Pavlov's dog. I did that in 2016, about a year and a half to almost two years before the, both CEOs of Facebook came out and I had to admit to the world that I was telling the truth. But I never got any credit for that. They came out and they got the credit for it. These two billionaires. Okay. So this is the world we live in it's people like myself and billy carson that are kept in the dark and i'm glad that billy carson is going through this now in a way because i want him to know that there are people like me out there that understand and have been waiting for someone like him to show up you know so I, i'm known as the spiritual philanthropist i'm a lifelong practicing yogi from a child and i'm sure that that you know there's going to be a lot of scrutinization against him and against myself as well because i'm standing up for him in some way but i can pretty much debunk anything that these guys say west and his other pals here because you know there's a lot i have to say but i won't say it yet i'm just going to put this up for now and uh we'll play around with some stuff later on but guys if you like what i'm doing uh please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that notification bell and uh You'll get more of, of this great content uh, where I'm going to start getting more involved in this because I see that Billy Carson needs help. Billy, I'm here, brother, so look me up. The Spiritual Philanthropist. All right. Uh, see you guys in the uh, next video. I'm going to attack all the other stuff and uh, you know give good rebuttals and, and, and a, a good uh, logical uh you know answer to hit to this you know to help fill in this debate where the stuff that they were trying to uh you know basically shame him on and make him look like a fool which is very uh uncool you know you don't do that that's just not right